The Story of Life, a first book about evolution by Catherine Barr and Steve Williams, illustrated by Amy Husband. At first, nothing lived on Earth. It was a very hot and noisy place. Choking gas exploded from volcanoes and oceans of lava bubbled around the globe. Fountains of melting rocks spattered burning land under clouds of ash. And massive rocks from space called meteoroids smashed into churning seas. Deep underwater, hot black gases belched towards the surface of this strange, lifeless world. Then, in the deep, dark ocean, something amazing happened. In warm water near underwater volcanoes called black smokers, some tiny floating bits came together. These bits were so small that you couldn't possibly see them. They could have dropped from space or bubbled up from under the seabed. They formed the beginning of life on Earth. This first life was just an incredibly small, shapeless bob called a cell. As time passed, cells lived together, making sticky, slimy mats that grew into mounds as big as pillows. Some cells started using sunlight, water, and a gas in the air to help them grow. Cells multiplied into billions, and so the seeds clouded with lots of new kinds of life. Some cells puffed out an invisible gas called oxygen, which completely changed the air and even the color of the planet. Circling the globe, the oxygen turned black rock shades of yellow, red, and brown. Ever so slowly, over millions of years, cells got more complicated. They filled with special parts that helped them do new things. Some began to live together, even inside each other. As the air filled with oxygen, some cells began to use it to grow and grow, so this new gas changed living things forever. Cells grew into all kinds of weird and wonderful shapes and sizes. Some of these became the first animals, and life on Earth really began to get going. The seas filled with wriggling, drifting, pulsating, living things. Millions more years ago passed, excuse me, and these wobbly blobs became soft jellyfish and worms. Slowly they evolved into animals more like crabs and fish. Some of the, these sea creatures fought for space, ate each other, and grew bigger and bigger. Others nibbled plants and gobbled the remains of dead animals drifting by. From the dark depths to the shallow pools, different types of creatures found different wet and watery places to live. With the sea full of life, plants and animals finally, finally began to invade the land. In shallow waters, soggy weeds stretched toward the sun, very, very slowly evolving into tall trees. Different plants appeared, spreading hundreds of shades of green across the land. Fish with bendy necks and leg-like fins called tectilic dragged themselves on th to the shore. Eventually, swampy forests filled with frog-like creatures and the other slimy things. Giant insects took off and flew for the first time through hot, damp air. Then, disaster struck. Something terrible happened that killed most life on Earth. We don't know what it was, and scientists are still hunting for clues. Perhaps massive clouds of dust from exploding volcanoes blocked out the sun. Without light or heat, it was hard to survive, but scaly lizard-like animals did survive. They laid the first egg out of water, began, began to multiply and grow bigger than ever before. In time, they became the most enormous creatures that have ever lived on land the dinosaurs. When the largest dinosaurs walked, the earth shook. These gigantic reptiles thundered across deserts while others wadded through swamps. As tall as a house with jagged teeth, some were v truly terrifying. Small dinosaurs with toothless beaks 
were some of the fastest of all, chasing across the plains with their hook-like hands. Some ate plants while others ate the plant eaters. They wandered all over the land, which was one giant island just beginning to crack and drift apart. Extraordinary lizard-like creatures cruised through the air while huge crocodiles Excuse me, crocodiles, sharks, and other giant reptiles swam in the warm sea. The air, land, and sea filled with millions of different plants and animals. Little furry animals, the first mammals, scuttled into holes in crowded forests. They were the first to have babies rather than lay eggs. All kinds of living things fought for food and space. The most successful survived, and the first birds began to squawk and sing. Splashes of color appeared as the first flowers warmed in the sun. With the help of insect, insects, these flowers thrived and spread their new scents drifting on the breeze. But once more, everything was about to change. A gigantic rock called a meteorite crashed into the planet, blasting thick dust into the air. Volcanoes erupted around the globe. Living things were smothered as dust settled, lava flowed, and temperatures fell. The world was plunged into icy darkness. In freezing weather without food, the dinosaurs died. This time, the little hairy animals survived. Perhaps they found shelter, shelter and their fur kept them warm. These warm-blooded furry creatures evolved into lots of different kinds of animals. And so, with the dinosaurs gone, the mammals took over the world. In Africa, monkeys and apes swung through huge floors across the land. They each found different food to eat and different parts of the forest to live in. Some chattered in trees while others ventured across the forest floor. Over time, Less rain fell and forests became more patchy. Apes that started using just two legs to cross more open land survived better. They evolved into the first humans. Scientists found the bones of one of these first ape-like humans and they called her Lucy. They learned to make fire to keep warm they sharpened stones for tools, and they hunted. Fossil footprints show that these early people walked side by side across the open plains. Different groups began to walk out of Africa and find new places to live. As they explored, the earth got colder and colder. Ice spread and the seas froze. In these ice ages, life for early people was a real struggle. The people who used tools and found ways to keep warm survived better. These people spread and settled all over the world. Their brains developed and they began to think more like us. As the earth warmed, they started farming and growing food. Everyone in the world is related to these survivors, including you. People, like all life on earth, will carry on evolving over time. We are learning more and more about the world around us. Yet, we are destroying wild places and changing the climate, and so humans are causing the extinction of many plants and animals. But like all living things, we depend on each other to survive. The challenge for all of us is to care for this blue-green planet that is our home. With or without us, our planet will spin through space for billions of years to come. So the end of this book is far from the end of the incredible story of life on earth. The end.